Thanks to innovative technologies, the new Passat is one of the cleanest Passat TDIs of all time. The TDI engines from Volkswagen are particularly efficient. The reduction of emissions is a major challenge in the automotive industry. By using the metered AdBlue urea solution and a new generation of SCR catalysts, the Euro 6 emission standards are being met. I just had a test refueling on the new Passat. The AdBlue nozzle is located right next to the diesel nozzle, so that the customer can easily fill both. This possibility of refueling is already offered by some gas stations. As an alternative to the refueling at gas stations with commercial dispensing valves, this is an opportunity to refuel our vehicles cleanly and quickly with a refueling truck. AdBlue is not a fuel additive, therefore there is a separate AdBlue tank. When refueling, AdBlue flows through a separate single tube into an additional tank in the car. From this tank, it is then dosed with a front pump module to the engine, where it's sprayed into the exhaust system. The pollutants that result from the combustion of diesel are being removed directly right at the engine. After the exhaust gas has left the combustion chamber, it drives the turbocharger. Then comes the exhaust after treatment. In this compact unit, it meets the oxidation catalyst. It makes carbon monoxide and hydrogen to CO2 and water. The next step mixes the gas with the AdBlue. The aqueous urea solution is injected into the exhaust and swirled and evaporated by the so-called mixer. Thanks to AdBlue, the next level can start working. In a chemical reaction, the SCR catalyst converts nitrogen oxide into non-toxic nitrogen and water. The SCR technology, SCR stands for Selective Catalytic Reduction, actually comes from the power plant industry. Selective because they can convert nitrogen oxide that's emitted by the diesel engine into nitrogen and water without unwanted side products. Also, diesel particulates, the soot, is filtered out because the SCR catalyst is also a diesel particle filter. Various sensors are monitoring this process and an intelligent control is giving just the right amount of AdBlue into the exhaust. Thus, the exhaust gas is purified and passes cleanly into the environment. AdBlue and SCR technology have already been successful in cleaning exhaust gases in the truck sector. Now we're also using the technology in the regular car sector. By using this effective nitrogen oxide reduction treatment method, the customer also saves fuel. The disadvantage. AdBlue can freeze, but the developers have taken precautions. With strong frosts below minus 11 degrees Celsius, it can happen that AdBlue will freeze in the tank of a parked car. For a situation like that, we've included a heater in the tank that will thaw the medium after the start of the car. After a short time, AdBlue will be liquid and readily available for the exhaust system. In the Volkswagen Touareg, the AdBlue tank is located in the trunk, integrated into the spare wheel well. 32.5% of AdBlue consists of synthetically produced urea. The remaining 67.5% is demineralized water. It is odorless, clean and non-toxic. It must not be diluted. Here I refuel a Touareg with a refill canister. This canister is connected to an adapter hose in the spare wheel well, so there's no dripping in the process, and it's odorless. The AdBlue supply for refilling is available in various standard bottles and cans at gas stations, on the open market, and in workshops. The AdBlue consumption depends on the weight of the vehicle and the individual driving style. On average, a car will consume about 1.5 litres of the supply fuel every 1,000 kilometres. In the Charan, the fueling is handled on the inside, on the left side of the trunk. Here I've used a refill bottler that is lighter and easier to handle. It needs to be screwed onto the refueling nozzle and is then activated by pressing on the back. This too is odorless and occurs without any dripping. 
It must be noted that the ABLU tank must not fall to empty. At the remaining distance of 2,400 kilometers, the customer is being warned that the ABLU is getting low. With a second warning, and no later, ABLU should be replenished, for good reasons. Due to legal requirements, we're also committed to preventing repeat engine starts if there really is no ABLU left in the vehicle. The use of the Volkswagen SCR technology almost completely neutralizes the nitrogen oxide in the exhaust gas while reducing fuel consumption, another example of how technological innovations help to protect the environment.